What's up guys, my name is Gunner here and today we're going to be unboxing my brand new gaming PC. It's the Armory uh, Armory uh, Canada Computers Gaming PC. It has a Ryzen 5 5600X, it has a RTX 3060, it has 16 GB of RAM, 1 TB NVMe, and it has a 700 watt power supply I believe. So yeah, let's just crack this open. Ah, there's a baby open. Oh, we got some uh, a bag that says Gigabyte. Let's see. Has some cables, power cord, paper. This is like a Wi Fi antenna. We'll take a look afterwards. So yeah, we got the real way back here. Alright, now that we got out of the box, it's time for a grand unveiling. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Got the glass panel as well. All right, we got the insta quick setup guide here on how to take out the packaging, connect the display and all that. Yeah, I know how to do that. We got it in French as well, but you know, French is overrated. All right, now the question is, how do I take off this case uh, glass panel? I guess I should start by getting rid of the uh, plastic. That was not smooth at all. the really smooth plastic removing ever all right does this come loose oh it does so those are the four screws there all right now it should just come off okay it's proper glass and that's plastic as well so let's take this and that will smooth to the side for a quick sec and now we got this that wow this is clean look at that we got a fan here rgb fan here we got a fan we got the cpu cooler which is massive by the way and we got two gigabytes of T4, uh, or not two gigabytes, two uh, RAM sticks of eight gigabytes each of the T4 RGB uh, RAM. We got the beautiful gigabyte um, uh, RTX 3060. And we got the power supply here. Oh, wow, this is, this is fucking clean, bro. Look at that cable management in there. Look at that. That's clean AF, bro. That's fucking sick. Cool. That's actually so sick. And now over here we got three fans as well for more cooling. But man, this compared to my last PC, this PC is spacious. I think we got a cable stuck in on in in here. But yeah, this is freaking beautiful. Here, I'll show the top part as well. So yeah, we got the power button. USB slots, the two ports, a button here, I'm not sure what that does. And I'm back here, we got a bunch of USB slots and uh, more cables. And then we got a graphics card with its ports and a power on button and a wire. Front, let's take the plastic off. You can see those beautiful fans, and then yeah, back side is the same thing. Alrighty, I have this baby all set up, plugged in. It's time for a moment of truth. What happens when it turns on? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, that looks sick! That looks insane! So 
freaking beautiful. Oh my god, man. Wow, that's beautiful. So freaking elegant. Oh, let me close the lights and do this. There you go. See the lighting better? Wow, just wow. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right, so now for some gameplay. Uh, uh, I am running at do 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 video settings. I'm running at all high settings, pretty much. Uh, I'm recording with on OBS 1080p using the NVAC encoder. And as you can see, like on Valorant, uh, we're running at like 300 ish FPS. One enemy remaining. Very smooth, like 200 to 300 FPS on high settings. Thirty seconds left. That's done. Quick break. Very smooth. But yeah, we're gonna. I get in the range in Valorant. I can get like I've gone up to like 500, but normally it's like 200 to 300. My ping is spiking right now, I'm not sure why, but yeah, it runs out like easy 300 FPS on max settings. And if you tone it down, you could probably get even better. But yeah, let's move on to the next game. Alright, now we're on Overwatch 2. Uh, here are my settings for the video. And then here you can see it's high ultra settings. We have graphics quality on ultra. Uh, these are the settings. Uh, I actually haven't even tested it on myself, so we're about to find out together, uh, what FPS I got. Do, do, do. Let's just do 3v3 elimination. Fight. Alright, so looks like we're getting 160 FPS consistently. 160, 170 FPS on... Pretty much ultra and high settings. That's yeah, pretty consistent. I got rolled. But yeah, it's actually running really smooth and well on this on this game. I'm actually surprised. All right, so the last game we're testing is Fortnite. And I have it on to, to do pretty much max settings, epic settings. And so far, oh wait, let me put this on unlimited. And seems like we're getting about 85 ish FPS in the sky, 80, 70 FPS on ultra settings. Uh, let's drop down, let's see. And the game looks really nice. Uh oh, okay, so now we seem to be getting about 90 to 100 now. Now that we've landed. Which honestly is surprising for epic settings. I didn't expect it to be that high. Where's the other one? Honestly, surprising. If you really wanted to, like, I'm playing on a 60 hertz monitor right now, so it doesn't really make a difference. But if you really wanted to, you could probably play at uh, like 144 hertz if you just bump the settings down to what, like to high instead of ultra. But honestly, it looks pretty good at ultra if you have a 60 hertz monitor. But if you have a 3060, I would honestly recommend at least having a 140 hertz monitor so you can actually enjoy the fps otherwise there's no point of getting a 3060 yeah hopefully you guys all enjoyed uh my unboxing and review of the armory gaming pc overall it's a very nice pc 
I have really enjoyed my last two, three days playing with it so far. It runs many of the games I play smoothly, and also I'm able to stream with it with no problems. Like barely any FPS drops. It's honestly very nice. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, and also don't forget to follow my Twitch. Uh, it's Gunner TV. I stream on there sometimes when I don't stream on YouTube. But yeah, other than that, have a great day.